Yuri? It's the ocean. I can see that. The wind feels great. I've seen pictures in books before, but I've never seen it up close like this. Well, people don't usually travel outside the barriers. If we keep going, we can see all sorts of things. Like the jungle, or the city of waterfalls. There are so many more things we could learn. If only our journey would continue. I guess it's true. I really was living in a small world. One of the reasons I wanted to get into the next generation of consoles was to play all of the great new RPGs. Now to be honest, not all the RPGs I've played thus far have been what one would consider great. Enchanted Arms, for example, wasn't that great. Oh, hell no it wasn't. Other games like Blue Dragon were just slightly unimpressive to me, and still others like Fallout 3 were fantastic, but just didn't fill that void in my heart for a good JRPG. But that's where Tales of Vesperia comes in. Tales of Vesperia is, in my opinion, the best JRPG thus far this generation. I loved pretty much everything about this game. The story, the characters, the gameplay, it's just really, really great. With that in mind, Let's get into my review. Tales of Vesperia is about an anti-hero of sorts named Yuri, who gets bonus points for having a name similar to my username. He lives in the lower quarter of a city called Zaphius with his dog named Rapide, and I suppose he would be like a JRPG Robin Hood of sorts. While he's just sitting around one day, someone steals the Blastia from the lower quarter, causing it to overflood. Now, Blastia are like these ancient technology things that they'll explain a bunch during the game. But Yuri basically goes off to find the Blastia, but along the way he's imprisoned and meets up with a princess named Estelle, who forces her way into your party. That bitch. Just kidding. The two set off to find Yuri's childhood friend, Flynn, and to find the stolen Blastia. But what starts off as a simple fetch quest turns into a grand adventure, spanning the globe, during which you'll meet lots of interesting characters and see cool locations, and the game is really like playing an anime, which really adds to the story for me, being a huge anime fan. Another thing that helps with the story is that I found all the characters were really likable. Usually in JRPGs, there's always that one character that I want to die off just because I hate them so much. But I, for the most part, liked everyone in this game, and the story kept me interested until the very end. All in all, I did love the story. Tales of Asperia keeps in tradition with the rest of the Tales games, and has a similar gameplay style to those. To get the basics out of the way, you do things like you would in any other RPG. You go to towns to buy items, and sleep at inns, and explore, and you have a world map, and all that good stuff. And then, you of course take part in battles to gain glorious, glorious experience points. Now the battle system is a tweaked version of the previous games. It basically builds upon what they did. Now the core gameplay remains the same. Tales of Vesperia plays out like an action RPG of sorts, where you'll see your enemies beforehand on screen, and when you make contact, you'll enter battle. Once in battle, the game is more of an action RPG than anything else, where you can run around the field attacking enemies at your will, and throwing special moves at them, and blah blah blah. I've always liked the battle system of the Tales games, so this game is no exception to that. What I noticed about the gameplay, though, is that going into battle after battle never really got boring to me. Battles move at a pretty fast pace, and most won't even last that long, but they're just fun to take part in. Only a couple of times during the game did I get annoyed at constant battles, and that was mostly when I was at a way higher level than all the other enemies. Now to add to the gameplay, there's side quests you can do, and you can collect costumes for your characters, as well as hunt for rare monsters. The gameplay really was fantastic, and I had a lot of fun with it. I have to say that Tales of Vesperia is a gorgeous looking game. Now the game doesn't look good in the sense of, let's say, Gears of War 2 or Uncharted 2, but the game still looks really nice. It's just, how you say, pretty. The game has a cell shading kind of look to it and it's stylized, which I think is pretty cool. I also really liked the character designs, and I thought a lot of them looked really cool. Another aspect of the presentation is how at certain points during the game, the game makes use of anime cutscenes. I like these as I am a huge fan of anime. Although they weren't the best anime cutscenes I've ever seen, they were pretty nice. 
Another part of the presentation would be skits, which are fairly frequent cutscene type things that would give you more insight into the characters. Unlike previous Tales games that had these though, these ones are fully voiced, which I really enjoyed. They just make them way more tolerable. From the sound side of things, the music was great. Every area had its own track, which went perfectly along with that area, and even the battle music was great. What I liked about the battle music though is that it would change depending on what part of the game you were on, and every battle theme seemed better than the last one. Now the voice acting in my opinion was pretty damn good. Granted you always have those couple of characters that sound like crap, all the main important characters were all well voiced in my opinion. Who is it? Who do I get to kill this time? You're the one from the castle! Looks like we're stuck with this guy. There are some top-notch anime voice actors in there if you listen closely, and that just adds to the overall awesome level. One thing I did notice is that sometimes voices wouldn't actually play, like the text would show up, but no voices, and then the rest of the scene would be voiced, which was kind of odd. But overall, the presentation was great. So overall, Tales of Asperia was really great. I had a lot of fun playing through it, so much so that I'm going to do it again when I'm done with all my other games, that is. I got to make room for Final Fantasy XIII on my schedule. But yeah, Tales of Asperia is probably my favorite JRPG this generation thus far. Now, that spot could be taken by Final Fantasy XIII or Kingdom Hearts III, if that ever gets fucking made, that is. But for me, right now, Vesperia is the champion, so I'm going to give Tales of Vesperia an A. Ah!